Welcome back, everybody. If you have not created this spreadsheet or finished this spreadsheet by calculating your X and your Y to multiply by four and then bringing it in as a query, please watch the previous video to do that. The link's popping up right, at, right above you. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw it on Inventor and it's gonna look something like this. Hopefully actually yours looks better than mine. So here we go. Uh, you have this all done. You're going to go to File and Download, and then you're going to go to Microsoft Excel. Okay, it downloads on the bottom of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and get into Autodesk Inventor. So you open that up. You're going to create a new standard part. Go ahead and hit Start. We've done this so many times, but for some of us, it's been maybe a year or more since we've used Autodesk Inventor. Go ahead and hit uh, Start New 2D Sketch. Go ahead and hit your X and your Y plane. And for some of us, we've never done this feature. We're actually going to use the spline tool, the um, this spline tool right here. And we are going to draw the shape. Now, there's a good reason why we just exported everything to an Excel folder. So you're going to go over here to this point. You're gonna find your downloads folder and you're gonna find your airfoil sheet that you just downloaded. Go ahead and hit open and voila, there is your part. Now, it's gonna take a little while to trace and connect all of those points. So what I suggest is grabbing your spline tool um, and using this one right here. Okay, what that'll do is it'll use the points, it'll go through the points. I suggest starting like zooming in and starting at a point, maybe on the far right side. And as you can see, I'm clicking and I'm going through. If this ever pops up, you can actually, you can move it. Oh shoot, I just screwed up. As I was saying, if it ever pops up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's try this again. So I click, I make sure that green dot pops up. I can zoom in and out a little bit easier with my center mouse button. I'm gonna click on this. I'm going to zoom in and out. I'm going to click down on my center mouse scrolling button and grab it and move. So I'm going to go around my entire shape, making sure I'm on, in my case, the bottom. If you want to work for, around the top, you can, you can do that too. I usually, I, I've started on the bottom right. And now I'm zoomed out a little bit more, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, when you start getting into like sections like this over here, you might need to zoom in a little bit tighter. Okay, so as you do that, you're going to go all the way around your shape. And you're going to enclose it. And it's going to look something like this after you have it all enclosed then you are going to extrude that shape so it looks like this you're going to hit extrude you're going to click on it we're going to make this three inches wide you're going to hit okay you're going to look around and say you know what yeah i did that good stuff and finally you're going to want to save it so you go file save as Save it to your Google Drive and call it Airfoil, your first initial, and your last name. Go ahead and hit save, and you are done for today. Uh, we're going to try and 3D print a couple of these, and we're going to try and cut these out on foam for a few of them too. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.